I could introduce our last piece, but you know what? There's a whole lot of information in your program notes, and on top of that, there were some wonderful videos that I received from students, both them speaking, but also animation, and I would rather let them explain and let you read about the program notes, but if you will direct your attention, and you can actually learn more about this piece from them. Hi, I'm Addie and I play the horn. After looking at the painting, The Twitting Machine, I noticed that the setting of the painting seemed to be an early morning sunrise. The background colors of purple, pink, and blue make me believe this. The four creatures standing on a wire appear to be birds. One large bird, a slightly smaller bird, and two baby birds. All of the birds have different shapes coming out of their mouths, which I think are different sounds. They all are crowing. I also noticed that there is a rectangular shaped hole underneath the machine. This could be why they are crowing. They do not have wings, so if the crank attached to the wire was to be turned, they could easily fall into the hole. This probably makes them afraid, so they're calling out to each other. I think the artist Paul Klee wanted, um, he wanted to tell us that things don't always have to be ordinary. You can, like, things can be different. It can be abstract. It can be really out there. I think the composer Val May just could show this in his music by making us take our audience on an adventure. My name is Harper. I play the clarinet. And after looking at the painting Twittering Machine, I noticed that I think it represents um, the Industrial Revolution versus nature. I think he's telling us that the Industrial Revolution was bad, according to him, his view, and that um, that we should survive, we should keep nature going. And I think the crank is there for humanity's decision. If they want to save nature, then they can keep the handle not going. If they can. If they want to, they can turn the handle, and then the nature will fall into the pit. The birds also appear to be trapped with a pit below them. This adds to the overall darkness of the picture, because we notice the birds don't have any wings, and even if they were untethered, they wouldn't be able to fly away and would fall into the pit.